Here's a couple of lockdown poems I've just wrote today. First one's entitled, When Your World Stops Turning. When your world stops turning, all you know grinds to a halt. With an overwhelming sense of grief, you constantly wonder who's at fault. There's no longer comfort in the familiar. Familiar becomes a thing of the past. Isolated, housebound and frustrated. Every moment wondering if this is your last. We are told this is the new normal. Social distancing is the order of the everyday. A limitation, a destroyer of experiences. It's far from normal existing this way. Life was once full of freedom and pleasure. For now, that's all been taken away. I hope this is a pause, not a reboot. I want my life back and I want it today. And the second poem is called Contradictions. Contradicting rules are so incredibly unfair expected to just accept it, it's impossible because we care. Unable to see our own family if they don't live under our own roof. Shield all the over 70s and expectant mums without any proof. At first we could exercise for an hour. Public spaces then started to close. But walkers and cyclists broke free then fines the police would impose. Only work from home. If you can't, don't work at all. Now many have lost their jobs. The self-employed get nothing at all. Do not use public transport. Yet it continues to run anyway. The train services haven't decreased. They are am empty and we will all still pay. Schools are closed for children, though open for a minority few. All parents expected to homeschool. We can only do what we can only do. Key workers keep the country going, risk their lives to save all of ours. There's a shortage of protective equipment. It only lasts a couple of hours. Postman can deliver your mail, yet he's not allowed to visit his mum. However, if he happens to be divorced, he's allowed regular visits from his son. The supermarket staff who serve you still turn up for work every day, risking their lives for the cause, and people still don't treat them the right way. Keep paying car tax and insurance for a vehicle you're not supposed to use. Unless it's for work, food or medicine. It's your vehicle you drive when you choose. No visit to second homes. Okay, visit, but no overnight stays. Don't drive to other counties. But we're not supposed to be driving anyways. The saddest of all the contradictions is that many are dying alone. Being unable to say goodbye to loved ones, reduced to a voice on the phone. Weddings and funerals with no guests. No celebrations for the beginnings or the end. Cherished moments lost on the restrictions snatched away like a hug from a good friend.